For my years of working on issues of social injustice, I've come to the conclusion that equal opportunities is not the way to address inequity. When you use equal opportunity to address inequity, you make the rich richer. As I speak with you, you may have somebody as rich as Kennedy Japan or Dr. Kwabna Dufour. If they have children in free, uh, secondary school, the state will be paying for them. Are you telling me that Dr. Dr. Kwabna Dufour or any of the rich people in this country cannot pay for their awards? And so the way you address inequity is through targeting, through creating affirmative action policies to address, to ensure that those who are usually left on the fringes of society are brought to the mainframe. And that is why I have a con the ministry's response, and the ministry agreed actually, but their response is that they are not able at this time to better target the poor with this uh, policy. I have a suggestion for them. No member of parliament should qualify for free SHS. They earn in excess of 10,000 Ghana cities a month. No director of any public institution should qualify. And we know them. Again, we can get data from the Ghana Revenue Authority. We can say anybody earning over and above a certain threshold should not qualify. Having done that, we can also use the free SHS to expand the tax net. For me, qualification for free SHS should be on the basis of a proven record of tax payment. So for you to qualify, you must first be a registered taxpayer. If you did that, all the informal sectors, people operating in that sector, who are not registered taxpayers will be compelled to register so they can qualify for free SHS. And then you can capture them into the tax net. So there are a number of key things that we can actually do to get better benefits from this initiative. But unfortunately, because the government itself has not taken the initiative to promote a dialogue with the people, it is denying itself of free consultancy. If I give these ideas to government, am I going to charge them for it? No. And so you don't understand sometimes why governments will not avail themselves to ideas that could help them better implement their policy. 